currently we see a lot of scaremongering in the media. People are invited to think of refugees and migrants as those outsiders that are coming to threaten our political and cultural community. But here's an impossible idea. If we think back into the summer of 2015, the media opened up and informed us about the plight of refugees and migrants, invited us to think about our responsibility as members of Europe and as human beings. Is it possible to go back to that moment, to include more voices, to humanize refugees, to make us hear these people? There are two important commonalities that characterize the European press coverage of the refugee crisis. The first is that the refugees and the migrants are very often and as a rule presented as outsiders. As outsiders to our political community, as outsiders to our culture and our world and the world as we know it in Europe. So even though we see a range of opinions that see refugees sometimes as victims, as people we should empathize with, and in other cases as perpetrators and as threats, in all cases, or in almost all cases, these people remain the outsiders to the European political and cultural space. The second uh, uh, important element of the coverage is that of voice, or rather the voicelessness of refugees and migrants. It was actually quite surprising to us to see how widespread was the silence of migrants and refugees in the European press. We very rarely see refugees and migrants speak, speak to the European publics. Most often what they do is that they are silent. We see them in images. We see them spoken about by European leaders, sometimes by the European public, but they themselves are very often unheard. And this is particularly the case of women. Women, especially Muslim women, are the ones that we hear the least in the European press.